Hello everyone, this is Shamim and uh, today, April 1st, 2023, I just want to share another story and it is the story of me as an immigrant from India to USA. So, who is an immigrant? Uh, not sure about the dictionary meaning, <laughs> but what I feel, an immigrant is a person who moves from one place to another could be from one city to another or from one country to another, seeking better opportunities, most likely, mostly either education or finance. My dad was an immigrant, I would say, from Siljar to Shillong. I was an immigrant uh, after marriage from uh, Shillong to uh, USA. On this day, April 1st, 31 years ago, I had landed in Chicago in USA. Once I landed there, and as I got out of the flight, it was snowflakes that welcomed me to USA. I had never seen snow before, and I just didn't know for a second what it was, but it was beautiful. It was really, really cold. I did not have the proper gear for Chicago cold, so I still remember how cold it was. But the story of an immigrant, me as an immigrant, was how after the airport, uh, what I experienced. The roads were beautiful, they were quiet, the cars were fast and clean and absolutely quiet because there was no honking. That was the first thing you notice once you land in USA. After that, reality hits in. I had left a well-paying job here in India and there we basically started from nothing. My ex-husband was a student and seeing him studies, it was also my dream to be a student in USA, but I could not do that because I had to take care of finance. So I started working, odd jobs of course, uh, with the Indian qualification uh, in the USA. Those qualifications sometimes are not counted. Even though I was a teacher here in Shillong a few years and after that uh, I was a home scientist with ICAR, but in USA none of my degrees mattered. So I started as a nanny, which in itself makes your self-respect and ego go down, where after leaving a job where you had respect and car and home and driver, and to start there basically was with nothing was not easy. The thing that we do the first year is we miss home. Missing home is basically missing our family and friends. As for me, I had no friends or family when I started life in USA, and that was very difficult. After that came my two boys, and along with them also the poverty. We were dirt poor for many, many years, I would say, more than half of my life in USA. I had to do two jobs, housework, driving, cleaning, and everything else. It was a struggle, but America, like they say, is the country of the free. And if you work hard, you get paid as well. So we too, as a family, started dreaming for our American dream. Like I said, we worked hard, did odd jobs, sometimes two jobs at a time. But we achieved our American dream in 15 to 20 years. After that, almost after a marriage of 30 years came divorce. Yes, I am happy now. I am who I am because of what America taught me, to be independent, to be free, to dress as I want, to have friends of my choice. You see, in America, nobody judges you. You can lead a completely free life of your choice, have a partner of your choice, be married or not married, live, live in a live-in relationship, have people whoever you want to come in your home and nobody is going to judge you. But I also was very much connected to India and that is why I never, ne never wanted to leave India in the first place. After spending 30 years there, or 31 to be exact, I'm happy to be back in India. My goal right now is to contribute whatever little I can of the things that I learned in USA and teach them here in India. I raised my boys with high values of Indian culture and I hope and I pray and I can see also that they try to instill the Indian values in USA. The story of an immigrant can be beautiful. 
because an immigrant is a one who shares two different cultures and they are the ones who can contribute the best of one country or the best of one city to another. All we have to do is stay positive, focus on the positive and spread positivity as well. I will share more stories of my life in the US gradually as I remember. But today being 1st April and me landing in USA on 1st April, I wanted to share a little bit about my story as an immigrant. Thank you for watching and I look forward to sharing more stories of my life with you.